Come on, I'll show you how to make copies of your comic book on the color copier. Ooh, <laughs> well said. Well, I'll, I'll meet you back here. Oh, okay. So, you, uh, you working in Natalie's office a lot now? Yeah, well, they're remodeling mine. How's that going? I mean, working with Natalie, now that she knows what she did. I'm getting this isn't just fatherly concern, so make your point. <clears throat> I saw the way you two looked at each other on Valentine's Day, and that was before she knew that you weren't her uncle. So unless she's made a complete 180 degree turn, I'm just saying that you better be careful. Why? Because I might get what I wished for that night. You really think that Adriana could be turning into Dorian? Rex. I'm probably just overreacting. I've got a lot of stuff going on, too. Like what? Gigi. Something happened with Gigi? No. Gigi happened. Adriana's not exactly cool about it. Okay, but Rex, how do you expect her to feel? You know, your hot high school honey shows up and down out of the blue. Single, available, right before the wedding. Gigi and I are friends, that's all. Okay. Did you make that crystal clear with Adriana? Rex? You think she'll be upset that I invited her to the wedding? You did not. And her son? Rex, why would you do that? I would like at least a few people on my side of the church. Okay, that's reserved for friends, family. Not ex-lovers. Are you staying away from any of yours? That's different. Anyway, you're right. I mean, Adriana's probably under a lot of stress. She didn't be turning into Dorian. Could she? I gotta go. Okay, bye. Bye. See ya. Look, I'm not saying that Rex definitely is Shane's father. Then what is it that Gigi is lying about? Well, that's what we have to find out. I'm still not getting this. Of course, she could always say that Shane is Rex's son, even if he isn't. Exactly. But she mm. hasn't. She keeps saying Rex is not Shane's father. And when she says it, she sounds like she's hiding something. Mm. You know... Maybe her real problem is just that she's fabricated this story about another man. She's made him a war hero, and she has her son not only believing it, but cherishing it. And now she knows that Rex is going to be off the market soon, that he loves me, and he's marrying me. But if she tries something, she risks alienating not only Rex with the truth, but her son as well. And she ends up losing both. Wow. I'm not going to even try to figure that out, just as long as you two understand each other. Perfectly. <laughs> the acorn does not look. We just need to get to the bottom of this. And how are we going to do that? Show up at this Brody Lovett's house and ask them if their dead son is Gigi Marasco's son's father? No. We tell them the truth. We're Gigi's friends. How could you possibly know? Listen, it doesn't take a genius. You know, she's been upset for a while. Uh, you've been saying that she hasn't been feeling that great. I, I just wish I would have known. I would have gone with her. She wanted to do it by herself. Why? If I would have ran away with her, then at least we could, we could be together. You think she ran away? Yeah, didn't she? But if she didn't run away, then, then, then what is it? Mason, please tell me what's going on. Please let me help stop. No, Mason, just tell us. You know you want to. Dang city. Why does she go there? Just get there fast, okay? <laughs> oh, I have to do this. I don't have another choice. I know what that's like. Sheila, I'm ready. You'll be okay.
Wait here. We'll start your prep in a minute. Jimmy, do you really think that you and Natalie have a future once this whole mess comes out in the open? Aren't you hoping to have one with Vicky? Yes, but I admit that once she finds out that I've been lying to her and that I helped you scan the Buchanans, you're well, 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 trying to scan the Buchanans. Not, not really. I want it to be one of them. Well, I don't think they're going to see it that way. Well, I don't care. As long as Natalie does. Even if it means you go, go back to prison. Won't be forever. And then Natalie and I can start fresh. And do you think that's really what she wants? We're trying. Well, we probably better go because we still have to meet with Roxy and we do want to get to the stadium the first pitch. Have a good time tonight and limit one hot dog only. Oh. oh. Yes, one. And no beer. <laughs> but not too many peanuts. Okay. okay. Thank you. Yeah. See you later. Bye. Yeah. Bye. So I guess I'm going to go get this stuff over to Rex's now. Cool. Thank you. Now, yeah. Hey. You're still here? You didn't think you were going to get rid of me that easily, did you? Uh...